Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at a Mauser that is just one of those guns that makes you kind of scratch your head. Uh, this is a Bolo, obviously, from the size, and it's in the 29,000 serial number range, which seems to be sort of a Bermuda Triangle of stuff for Mauser. Uh, there's been all kinds of weird guns come right out of the 29,000 serial number range, and this one really is no different than any of the other weird stuff that comes out. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, as you can see, it's a standard bolo sized gun. You've got your bolo uh, barrel length here, which is much shorter than the regular. It's got the bolo front sight, and this one has actually got a, uh, and this is a factory job. It's got a little bit of a different front sight there for different visibility. And the rear sight is correspondingly different as well. It is only out to 500 meters, but it is a totally different font of rear sight. And also this grooved piece right here, which is your sight cursor, is also much different than what you'd normally see on a Mauser broom handle. Most were not grooved, and the grooving on this one is much different than the ones that were grooved. So this is almost like a, uh, something that Mauser was trying for a little while but it it's definitely very different very strange um, the other thing is this gun should probably have the early type of safety still on it but this has actually got the later type which started in the thirty thousand serial number range where you had up for safe and then down for fire a little bit uh more obvious of what 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 your gun was at safe or fire rather than the old cone hammer style safety which was uh, pretty obscure and hard to tell just by looking at it as you can see this is also a small ring hammer gun and mauser in this serial number range should have been still using large ring hammers so it's really doesn't make a lot of sense. Was it actually made in the 29,000 serial number range or was it made afterwards? Uh, not really sure on that. But this gun, again, uh, Mauser started using the small ring hammers about 35,000 serial number range. This one's 29, so well before what you would have expected. You do have your uh, strawed trigger here and everything else is pretty standard. You've got your panel milling, which is standard but your grips are also very different. And these are in fact factory grips and they are checkered rather than serrated. So Mauser was trying out a different kind of grip at the time. Uh, not a lot of these got out, not a lot are floating around, but this is an example of one. This gun is cut for a shoulder stock and it does have your serial numbers uh, repeated as normal. So nothing unusual there but the serial number has been moved to the top of the bolt in typical fashion that you would expect from later guns. So it's got an early serial number with a lot of later features with also some unique features and just really nothing that makes a lot of sense. Um, on the other side, you've got a typical Waffenfabrik Mauser with deep panel milling, which would be indicative of, again, a gun in the 30,000 serial number range. Uh, this one also does not have an Ulm proof mark, which pretty much all the Mausers up until about 38,000 had. So not really sure why it doesn't have that either. Uh, there's a possibility these were made on some obscure small contract for somebody for some reason some government wanted some for a security force who really knows there's no record of these uh, there are a few of these floating around but they are pretty rare um, so it's just a strange strange example of something that mauser was doing sort of in the time period between changing over from your flat side guns which went through about twenty nine thousand serial number and starting out with your large ring hammer uh, sort of milled guns that you that most people know and and love the vlds and the thirty thousand serial number range stuff like that that is floating around they kind of made these guns just made them 
and it seems like a lot in the 29,000 serial number range were also bolo size guns. Um, I'm not going to say that no full size guns were made in that serial number range, but definitely not many. So pretty much all of them were six shots or bolos or, you know, whatever. I actually have seen a bolo in the 29,000 serial number range with a large ring hammer. And then this gun comes along, which is a 10 shot with a small ring hammer. So go figure on that. And again, the hammer is matched to the gun by part number. So it's not something that was replaced later. And this one's also got the long extractor and all your early features as well. So just uh, kind of a mystery gun. If you've got one of these, I'd love to hear about it and what you might know about it that I don't. Um, and as always, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be taking a look at more interesting guns and militaria in the coming weeks and months. Thanks for watching.